Hey Yoki Tools here and this is going to be my video on doing the rear brake pads on my dad's 2010 Toyota RAV4. This is at the 2.5 liter inline 4. I got it uh, jacked up properly with uh, jack stands and uh, safety first on that, so uh, be aware of that. Uh, as you saw, I got the uh, wheel off and now I'm ready to get to it. So uh, these are 14 millimeter bolts uh, for the pins and I got a 14 millimeter socket here and my breaker bar. So I'll go ahead and bust those loose. Okay, there's one. This one's got a the hose behind it so be aware of that okay that one's broke loose got my uh, 3 8 ratchet here with a 14 millimeter socket go ahead and take those out this one in here Okay. Now it's ready to take the uh, bracket off, the uh, uh, caliper off. Okay, so put the caliper just uh, right there. You don't want it to hang on that line or kink it or anything like that. So I just lay it right there. And uh, then go ahead and uh, take the uh, old pads off. Okay, and as you can see, this is why I am uh, doing these. Uh, these are worn. They're not that bad. They look like they're uh, wearing evenly, so that's good. And um, they still got some material on them. Um, they could go for uh, a little bit longer. Uh, but uh, I think the uh, wear indicators, which are right there, might have been starting to uh, squeak on it because he has a... Uh, uh, my dad's uh, SUV here he had to squeak I heard it when he pulled in and he told me he was needing new brakes so although these look like they could have gone a little bit longer um, he said since he's had it they would never been replaced and I've already got the parts here so might as well do it so uh, go ahead and uh, new clips came with the set uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, get these old clips off and uh, put the new clips on parts I got there uh, Monroe Pro Solutions and I uh, got them from uh, rockauto.com and uh, got them uh, together they were on closeout and I got the the, the back and the fronts uh, brake pads for about 40 bucks so uh, good deal there and I uh, highly recommend them and it comes with uh, the uh, aboundment kit and um, Here's your brake pads. So, you got the clips in there like they're supposed to be. And uh, got the uh, new um, brake pads here. And the uh, wear indicators. These little things come separate. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, but you just take them and uh, face them uh, towards the pad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the back on. There you go. Okay. So uh, there's that is. I'm going to make sure the wear indicator got in. Yeah, wear indicator got in there where it's supposed to. Okay. Now I've got the uh, bottom, the front one here. Make sure that wear indicator gets in there right. And then uh, Go ahead and feed it into the top and push them together. Okay, there you go. Here's my setup. I got my uh, 
8 inch clamp on uh, this end and the uh, actual uh, uh, screw down piece actually goes right into it right nicely. So uh, got it hooked up there and just start turning caliper back on there and time to go ahead and uh, put the bolts back in. There's the top one. There's the bottom. I did my 3 8 ratchet here and my 14 millimeter socket. Here's that one. This one is a pain. Okay, just snug it up. Okay. And this one snugged up. Okay. So that's it. Uh, replace the clips, replace the uh, uh, wear indicators and the brake pads, and uh, get the piston pushed back into the caliper and get the caliper back on now. And got the bolts back on. Now all I need to do is uh, put the wheel back on, uh, get everything torqued down prop, get it on the ground, and get everything torqued down properly. And then don't forget to go push on your brake pedal uh, a couple times to uh, get it to uh, seat the piston. So uh, that was my video of doing the uh, rear brake pads on the Toyota Rav4. Thanks for watching.